Welcome to Learn With Morale. Today, we're taking math from mundane to magical. Imagine a world where your child's eyes light up at the mention of math. A world where they're excited to count, add, subtract, and solve problems. Sounds impossible? It's not. This video will share seven simple and effective strategies that can make math fun and engaging for your little ones. So, whether you're a parent, guardian, or educator, prepare to revolutionize your approach to teaching math. So let's dive into our first strategy. Our first strategy is all about making learning playful. Imagine the joy of your little ones as they dive into the world of math, not through dry textbooks, but through their favorite games. Board games, card games, even hopscotch. Each of these can be a gateway to learning counting, addition, subtraction, and so much more. When we inject playfulness into learning, math transforms from a chore into a fun adventure. This approach not only engages their minds, but also stirs their curiosity and creativity. So next time your child picks up a die or a deck of cards, remember, it's not just a game, it's also a chance to learn. Our second strategy brings math to life with hands-on activities. Imagine a world where numbers, shapes, and equations leap from the page and become something you can touch, move, and explore. That's the magic of hands-on learning. With everyday items like blocks, Legos, or counting bears, math becomes a tactile journey of discovery. Counting with blocks isn't just fun. It physically demonstrates the concept of quantity. Sorting shapes with Legos teaches recognition and categorization, and using counting bears that's a playful way to introduce addition and subtraction. These hands-on activities transform abstract math concepts into tangible, interactive experiences. They make math less intimidating and more engaging. After all, when learning feels like play, children are more likely to embrace it with enthusiasm. So, grab those blocks, dig out the Legos, and let the counting bears join the party. So get those hands busy and let the learning begin. Our third strategy is all about turning everyday moments into math lessons. Imagine baking cookies with your child. You're not just creating a delicious treat, you're also introducing the concepts of measurements and fractions. Or consider a trip to the grocery store. It's not just about picking up milk and bread. It's an opportunity to practice counting items, weighing produce, and comparing prices. And don't forget about setting the table for dinner, it's a perfect time to learn about numbers and patterns. See, math isn't confined to textbooks or classrooms. It's everywhere around us, in every moment of our daily lives. So remember, every moment can be a math lesson. Our fourth strategy combines storytelling with math. Imagine a world where numbers are characters and equations are their adventures. Math-themed stories can spark a love for numbers and problem solving. When children hear about a hero overcoming challenges, they relate to the character's journey. Now suppose the hero's challenges involve counting, shapes, or equations. In that case, children naturally start connecting with these math concepts, seeing them as exciting puzzles to solve, just like their favorite characters. This strategy not only makes math relatable, but also fun and adventurous. So, next time you read a story, see how you can weave in some math. Our fifth strategy is all about making math visual. Now what do we mean by that? Well, visual aids can be incredibly powerful tools for learning math. They help children to see the problem, understand it, and then solve it. This can be as simple as using charts or graphs to represent data, or even getting creative with drawings to represent math problems. For example, if your child is learning about fractions, drawing a pizza and dividing it into slices can make the concept much clearer. Our sixth strategy is all about celebrating mistakes. Here's a secret, friends. Mistakes are not a sign of failure, but a crucial part of the journey towards mastery. In the world of math, they are simply opportunities to learn. Encouraging a growth mindset means reminding our young learners that it's perfectly okay to stumble and trip along the way. After all, the path to understanding isn't always a straight line. It's through errors that we truly grasp the essence of a problem and find our way to the solution. So, when your little one fumbles with a math problem, let's not frown upon it. Instead, celebrate it. Remember, mistakes are just stepping stones to success. 
our final strategy is all about keeping math time positive and encouraging. This approach is essential as it fosters a nurturing environment that boosts children's confidence and instills a love for math. Remember, the journey of learning math is more than just getting the right answer. It's about the process, the challenges, and the triumphs. Praise your child's efforts, no matter how small. Celebrate their progress, even if it's just a tiny step forward. Emphasize the joy of learning rather than the fear of making mistakes. By doing this, you're not only teaching math, you're also building resilience, promoting a growth mindset, and empowering your child to embrace learning with enthusiasm. So, let's make math time a positive, encouraging experience. We've explored some great strategies today, from playful learning with board games to hands-on activities with Legos. We've seen how everyday tasks can be math lessons and how storytelling can make math relatable. We've learned the power of visual aids and the importance of celebrating mistakes. And remember, always keep it positive and encouraging. These simple approaches can truly make math magical for young learners. So grab those counting bears, dust off the board games, and get ready for a world of math adventures.